Welcome back to another episode of Crusader Kings 2. This is Rosakius. Welcome back. I am losing this war. <laughs> I cannot beat this guy's armies for the life of me. My wife was captivated by grace and strength of hunting birds and begged me for a bird. A falcon. Um, yeah, let's give a falcon. Why not? So this guy is, is tracking down my army. I'm not able to, like, get rid of them. And in the meantime, like, I was going to reinforce here, but somehow there is another group here? I don't know. We did get Sabo back. Well, we do have a lot of troops here coming up. Um, I think we might also be in need of a tribal army. I'm going to go ahead and disband this unit. Uh, that gives me a thousand back. I'm going to disband this unit too. Auto save, you're my friend. What I need is to get more weapon smiths going. Because you look at Hordaland here. Let's look at Hordaland. Clearly their weapon smith is not up to snuff, with only 68 troops sitting there. Not, they're not building fast. Um, they are building fast at home. But I don't want to use all my stuff for that. My sister is getting married. We'll go ahead and accept that. Once I get them into Norway, I can disband them. A preacher in the service of Sultan something. Uh, I throw them in the dungeons. There will be no other religions here, sir. In the dungeons with you. All right. Disband. All right, there we go. Uh, I think all my troops were in Hor from Hordaland were in that group. All right, let's see. If we can't raise more troops. We're gonna have to pull these guys back. Let's put put them there. Should be enough. And we have that 402. There we go. Uh, so that's 3,700, 4,000, 4,500. We're going to call allies again. Puts us back up to about 5,000. Holy crap. These guys. Kyrenia. I think went to war against them too. And that's actually put us in a pretty bad place. Hopefully his war ends because we can't move up in percentage. And I think he took out the army. I'm not gonna call more troops at this point. I don't think I need to. Yep. 
Dang it. Dang it. That went terribly. Um, Alright, disband. We'll disband you too. And the, the lone troop. Okay, we're gonna have to re... Although, he only has 1,000 troops now. Maybe we can still go after it. He had 5,000 troops when he went against Estonia. of Savo. Alright. Do this again. Uh, is this my oldest son? He is my son. He is my oldest son. Okay. I'm gonna give him pride. That's my favorite for my oldest. And I'm going to... It says that he's the educator, but you, you get special choices if you assign yourself as guardian. Um, it seems odd to me that that's a thing, but that's a thing, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. He actually has pretty good stats right out the gate. 3-3-3-2. Three, 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 that's not terrible. Let's see if there's anything uh, we can marry into at 6. I've decided to start looking at 6 for marriages, because by the time they get to 12... Everybody's gone. Genius, however, looks nice. Um, unfortunately, Jewish, that's quite, pretty bad. And she's got a really high intrigue, which might make my shelf life lower. This girl has strong, which is always nice to get. Attractive. I gotta say, the genius thing is looking pretty nice. Um, the intrigue really concerns me, though. Let's go for the strong girl. Strong. She's Norse. Uh, doesn't give me any titles. What's the best one that gives me titles? You? Let's go for a little younger. Eh. Eh. For the Norse religion, the Germanic religion, not a great choice, a lot of choices. So we're going to go with her. I thought I called my allies. Oh, we haven't even raised the armies yet. Well then. Um, I'm not sure. I have a feeling that we can actually pull these guys in and send them into Curonia right away. Oh, I've already suffered defeats. How, how is that even a thing? I've already called my allies in. Open council position. Spymaster has died. Oh, we have a handy spymaster here. He already likes me, even though he is not on the council. This will make him love me. So we're going to go with that. So he's looking for apostates. He gives me 0.57. If I do... Zeal... I should look at that at some point. Um, so that gives me religious... Religious fighters. Which is good. Um, but I need to have religious wars in order to use the religious fighters, so... It's only good... If I can find those. Why do I keep on having to call my ally? This is ridiculous. 
I'm over my vassal limit. What the heck? What what the heck? What happened? What happened? I have 22 vassals. Oh my gosh. Svipiod broke up. Didn't they? No. There's still a thing. Why do I have so many vassals? Someone, one of my dukes must have died. Alright, let's take a look at who loves me here. I don't like giving the spy master, but he already has land anyway. Um, my marshal's been pretty decent. He's not great. Can we make him... Duke of Finnmark, maybe? That might be a good choice. Point. Uh, grants landed title. Include lower titles. Uh, apparently not. Cannot give away the Duchy of Finnmark. What's the Jarldom of... I am very limited on what I can give away. That's kind of sucky. France, include lower. What's that? No, you're not getting that. You're not getting that. You're not getting that. You're not getting that. I mean, Nidoros and Nalmadal are my worst ones. I don't like it. We got some issues. But we're gonna have to wait until after this war to deal with that. I'm not entirely sure what exactly happened. But clearly I think there used to be a duchy over here. I'm not I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That's gonna take some study. That's problematic. What do I get for that? Uh, it doesn't tell me the effects of having too much. How about this? It doesn't tell me there either. Well, that's been entirely unhelpful. Thank you for that. Actually, we're gonna have you guys go, go there. There's the victory we needed. Have a meet up and whatever this is. Kexholm. The main thing is that starts the timer. Faste, Helger, and Grumpa. So now, we can come down and piece together the rest of Coronia. Chief something has usurped the title. How did I get 22 vassals? Ah, I was at like 18, so I gained 5 vassals from somebody dying. Raiders from... Under the con, so the con can read too. It's interesting. That mad dog, Jarl Dyer, has somehow summoned up the courage to challenge you to Holmgong. If you accept, you and Dyer will meet in single combat on a small islet. If you refuse this duel, it will be seen as a stain on my honor. My nephew would take over at that point. Um, let's take a look at this guy. Gerald 
dire. I'm not fond of that. He has a twelve, a six in Marshall. Where the heck is the? Hmm. He wants to become the king of fin Finland. I thought there was a place where you could get the Marshall score. Where's my Marshall? I have an 18 Marshall. Not Marshall. Uh, there's a score specifically for attacking people. And I know that it's kept somewhere. I don't know where, though. I'm going to deny this. I'll take the Craven. 33% chance and 100 prestige loss. Yep, I gained Craven. That's fine. I'm not a fan of my nephew taking over. My commander, High Chief, was cornered and slain. Victory! Positions. New seer is needed. I'll take him. I'll make him like me a lot. And... Need a new commander. Ooh, you're very nice. We'll put you in there. And a physician. We need somebody who likes me. We'll put you in there. Even if they like me just a little. They get a bonus 10 out of uh, the thingamabob. Out of the title, so it's fine. It'd be kind of cool if you could ride bears. I saw that guy riding a horse up there, and I was like, ooh, is he riding a bear? No, that was a horse. I thought for a moment it was a bear. That would be really nifty. Especially, I mean, there is the Crusader Kings mod for uh, Game of Thrones. It would be really cool in something like that. Riding a bear around. Forty-six percent. This is going to be a lot, weirdly, a lot easier to take over this than it was the other one. Probably because they basically killed all their troops trying to take over the other one. At age fifty-nine, my acquaintance Khan something died to uh, poor physique. Send him up to... I'm going to send him to Tartu, and then I'll have this guy go this way. Ah, uh, autosave. I, I, I think there needs to be an option to change autosave to every other month once you start going faster. Because, I mean, you're not really going faster if you have to stop all the freaking time for autosave. Who are you at war with? See, this is this is what I'm talking about. This is where I got it. This guy used to be part of Svipiad. And now it seems that he's directly under me and he took this one with me. Charles has provided me with a proof that Godi Bjorn has been viciously slandering me. Bjorn? Why? Why would you do such a thing? Are you anybody I care about? Council. No, we're gonna expose you. Meanie. Mean. So I think Svipyad has lost some land. I think this is where it, where it all came from. Because this all used to be connected to this. And he, I think Vesterbonten also used to be part of it as well. So I think Svipyad is getting broken up. Which, in a large sense, kind of sucks. We're at 76%. 
Eh, why not? Have the 2,000 troops going after 200. Minor victory. Eighty-two percent victory again. Eighty-seven percent. This is gonna be over in no time. I I think I'm only gonna get Savo out of this. There we go. Peace out. Yep, I got Savo, and that went directly to me. I think, I, before I go, we're going to follow up with the Empire of Scandinavia. I can actually create it now. I thought I needed like 600... Uh, I, thought, I thought I needed like 600 piety, and that doesn't seem like I do anymore. It costs... Oh yeah, there it is. It cost me 400 piety. I wonder if that went down for a reason. Anyway, we're going to create that Empire of Scandinavia. It'll give me 800 prestige. There we go. Very nice. Um, that actually raised my limit to 24. So I'm now under the vassal limit. Uh, yeah, and the rest, we've got two more commanders from that. Very nice. All right, I think that's going to be it for this episode. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe below, and we'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.